Cruiser Deluxe Portable Turntable from Crosley is a very 21st century portable record player. Or turntable. I actually googled it and I can't find a very clear answer on what defines a record player versus a turntable. Crosley calls it a turntable, but I am going to use those terms interchangeably from here on out. Anyways, this is the Crosley Deluxe, and I got it a while back for my wife because she wanted to be a hipster and play records. That was fine because I wanted a Bluetooth speaker anyway, and I was pretty sure that they made devices that did both of those things. So I googled around and did a lot of research and landed on this thing. The key features of this device, apart from it looking pretty cool, is support for 33 and a third, 45, and 78 RPM records, a belt-driven turntable mechanism, Bluetooth, auxiliary cable, headphone, and speaker support. The setup process is pretty easy. You just make sure the rubber pad is on the turntable, and then you drop your record on top of that. Make sure it's on and turned up, drop the stylus down on the record, and boom, instant sound. Well, that is, unless you have the wrong RPM selected, then you get a monstrosity of audio waves. However, once the settings are correct, this thing works like a dream. The audio that comes out of the speakers is very crisp and clear, even if it's not the loudest thing in the world. Once you reach the end of your record, there is a handy audio off feature that will stop the record from spinning once it reaches the end. I wonder why there is an option to turn it off though, as it seems odd to me to just let the record spin and spin and spin. I mean, I guess that's why they made the option, so that that wouldn't happen, but why have the ability to turn it off? Seems weird. Anyways, as I mentioned before, it also has headphone output, so if you want to sit next to your record player and listen via a pair of headphones, that is an option as well. There is also an option of RCA output if you want to run it through a pair of hefty, proper speakers. Alright, so when you are done listening to your small collection of records and you want to listen to something from this decade, what are your options? Well, there are two options. First is an auxiliary cable so that you can plug in an old school iPod, your phone if it still has a headphone jack, or even another record player if you really want to get freaky with it. However, most people who are looking to play something other than a record will be using the Bluetooth feature. As you would expect, setup for Bluetooth takes all of 5 seconds and it's just like an external Bluetooth speaker. After your initial setup, your phone will automatically connect and you can control everything via your phone. As far as the record player itself, all you have to do is actually flip a little switch on the turntable, which will switch from turntable mode to Bluetooth mode or vice versa. Boom. Overall, I really like this thing, and I have to admit, I was a little disappointed at the max volume, but other than that, I can't find much to gripe about. The whole device looks really cool, it has all the modern features I want, and still has that hipster vibe and sound quality that you really hope for in a record player. It also can close up and go with you if you really want, but most people will probably only move it if they need a Bluetooth speaker. I don't think anyone is going to load up their backpack with records and go to a friend's house. The only other thing I wanted to mention about the device is the price. It sits at $89 retail, but you can get it for almost half of that every so often on Amazon. So in my opinion, given the price, Given the feature set and given the quality, I think this thing is a serious consideration if you're in the market. That being said, if you're a major audiophile, you should probably be looking for something a little more expensive and with a little better audio quality. But if you are someone who knows you're an audiophile, you probably already know that and you probably already have a different, more expensive record player. Anyways, if you guys liked that video, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions at all. Anyways, later guys. Thank you.